direct my mail to my new partner's house. What do you mean, your new partner's house? I just want to keep away from him. And as far away as possible. Oh, mate, if you get desperate, there's always a spare room in the house. I've developed romantic feelings for Chris. Perhaps I'm even falling in love with him. Get the recycling please on to me. Too late. You just did. If I accept all your extras, what happens when I need space later? But they collect tomorrow, right? I mean, surely you won't fill your whole bin by then. Rules are rules, I'm afraid. It'd be chaos without them. Do me a favour. Is it what neighbours are for? Or are you um, just visiting? No, no. This is home sweet home. Oh, okay. Look at it as an investment. Next time you have extras, you can put it in mine. Thank you, but I already have a backup plan for when that happens. Mrs. Jenkins doesn't seem to have joined the Green Revolution just yet. Who the boys have indeed. Okay. Rules are rules, eh? Absolutely. But some are made to be broken. I just have to know which ones. If you're feeling a little flutter for Chris, then you wouldn't be the first handsome, intelligent, wealthy doctors work for most women. Well, I'm not most women. And anyway, theories on assorted of mating would suggest we would be poorly matched. Oh, I guess I'm a bit behind on my reading. You'll have to fill me in on that one. <laughs> Studies show that patterns of similarity and complementarity play differential roles in various points of a relationship. OK, that made it worse, not better. <laughs> Simply put, Humans are attracted to those who have similar values and attitudes, as Chris and I do. We both value learning and intelligence and are committed to being the best in our field. Well, then why wouldn't you make a great couple? Not, not that I'm suggesting that you go there. Yeah, that's attraction. As far as relationship satisfaction and longevity goes, similar personalities are also important. You've just realised that you might fancy Chris and now you're trying to decide if you have a future together. Yeah, all I'm saying is, is that as far as personality types go, Chris and I aren't alike. Very few people are like me. Well, that's not true. You've just finished telling me all the things that you and Chris have in common. That's how we choose our friends, isn't it? Friends, yes. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you and I are probably friends because we're all so similar. The obsessive work thing, sure. And I've fallen for my fair share of doctors, too. <laughs> Oh, I've just explained, I haven't fallen for Chris. I'm momentarily confused our shared values and attitudes with attraction. That's all. Look what the Wellington winds blew in. Yeah, I uh, tried to hold on to a lamppost, but... I couldn't concentrate on my course. Every time I looked at the whiteboard, I saw the word chicken and... Letters. Well, there was plenty to run away from. Believe me, there were times I wanted to escape too. But you didn't. Neither did you. A good old guilt trip from Mum reeled you back in. It wasn't just... I was joking. I'm glad you're back. He's got so many toys in his bed, there's hardly room for him. Why are you home early? Did they cut your call short? No, um, I decided I needed to brush up on Family Loyalty 101 instead home because of me. I'm so sorry I no, left. don't you dare apologise to me. I should be saying sorry to you. And thank you. Thanks for getting me banged up in the psych unit, sis. It was just the ticket. It was. I got just crazy enough in there to start getting sane again. You've lost enough sleep over me. Don't lose this opportunity in Wellington too. My head was here anyway. And when I heard that they'd drop the case against you. I didn't want to miss out on the celebrations. <laughs> oh, this looks amazing, Hunter. Oi. I'm starving. 
You know, when TK and I arrived home to find dinner in the oven, we thought for a second that we were in the wrong house. Yeah, you'd be like gold when you go fatty, mate. Top skilled ahead. Yeah, Hunter wins the prize for sucking up. Hmm, what prize are you trying to win, sulkiest teenager? Well, it was the least I could do. I mean, I did kind of spring myself on you. Oh, wow. Do you want to move in permanently? <laughs> uh, before we eat, I uh, nearly forgot. Yeah, according to that guy in the shop, these will help out when you bite the monkey. <sighs> wow. They're great, thanks. All I need now is some scratches to prove you've been shredding the slopes in them. But they'll get that soon enough, though, eh? I guess. Well, I don't know what bite the monkey means, but I'm certainly ready to bite the chicken. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> OK, I've got some hot new moves I want to try out on you, if you'll let me. Pardon? Mental chess, I demand a rematch. I simply don't believe that would be satisfying for either of us. It would be too difficult for you and far too easy for me. I enjoy a challenge. And it could be amusing for you watching my pathetic attempts to impress you. Don't bother, really. You'd be wasting your time. I mind the dog box for cancelling our drink. No, of course not. I hardly expect you to prioritise a dry surgical analysis with me over time with your friends. <laughs> the workings of your mind are anything but dry. I'm sure I would have been captivated, as always. So... Another mental workout, if I promise to raise my game. I prefer to exercise my mind in other ways. My work, for example, which you are interrupting. OK, but if you change your mind. What do I tell the other nurses who are gagging to go on that course? It's too late to replace you now. I'll talk to them. You shouldn't have to. Believe me, I wasn't volunteering. But I will have to explain why the funds we secured for you were wasted. It won't be refunded. I'll make it up to you. Put me on the longest, messiest shift you've got. With the most demanding patient in the hospital. Well, now you mention it, there is a shift no one wants. Not with the most demanding patient, the most demanding doctor. And she's a personal favourite of yours. Can you see where I'm heading with this? You're busted. Just kidding. Don't wet your pants. Doubt it. You got the gear? You shift this lot, there's more. Count if you want. Chill out, kid. I'm not the mafia. And anyway, if this did turn out to be a bit light, I know where to find you. Is this some public holiday I don't know about? I've got PE first up and uniforms in the back. Yeah, that doesn't explain what you're doing here, who that guy was. He's Ryan's older brother. He just bought an MP3 player and I said I'd update the software for him. Yeah, I know what kind of deals kids your age do in parks. They mostly involve buds on MP3s. What's this thing? All right. Why couldn't you mate at school get it to you? Ryan wasn't totally sure what his brother wanted done, so I said I'd meet him here. OK, well, interrogation over, now get to school. I'm going, but first... What a butt. Yeah, yeah, move on. Surgical budgets, as requested, as well as an advance forecast for the next six months. But I didn't ask for any forecasts. No, no. I like to pride myself on anticipating people's needs. I really don't think you should try and read my mind, Libby. People far more intelligent than you struggle to understand it. Oh, well, stupid me was just trying to get ahead, to free up some time with Chris. We're well overdue a long weekend together, away from surgery and brainiac games of chess and other distractions. Yes, you should do that. Go away. Nice talking to you too, as usual. Nice tea. Problem with Libby. I'm the problem. I can't stop thinking about Chris. Last night I had this most unnerving dream about him. We were in this Turkish bathhouse. Whoa well, there, whoa well, there. I'm not sure I need the mental pictures. Ew, nor do I. He's happy with Libby. I don't quite understand how, but he is. So I've decided some judicious compartmentalization is required. With the man you work with every day. Oh, that'll be easy. Yeah, well, that's the key. Working with him. Nothing more. No drinks, no chats over cups of tea. And certainly no more dreams. It's all a matter of willpower. 
<sighs> Scotty is so making me pay for coming back early. But uh, I guess I asked for it. Could be worse. You could be stuck with Dr. Avia, the new head of ED, as in ego department. Ugh, consultants are like dogs. Once he's marked his territory, he'll probably ease off. Somehow I doubt it. This guy would have been barking orders at the midwife the moment he popped out of his mother. I wish I could escape to surgical or anywhere else for that matter. Ah, first try a shift with Gabrielle, the human encyclopedia, and get back to me. Come on, you can handle it. Just uh, pass the what's it, count the sharps suction, and ignore the spot. Sure. How big can it be? There are two main types of encephalon meninges seals, the frontoethmoidal and occipital. The frontoethmoidal type we see here is more commonly found in Southeast Asia than in Western countries. Fascinating. What's known about the etiology and pathogenesis of the condition? Obviously, it's a neural tube defect, but the cause of which is still unknown. Nutritional deficiency, perhaps? How was your time in the Windy City? Ah, brief. I couldn't really concentrate with my child going on. Your sister's interlude with the criminal justice system has no relevance here. Kindly allow me to concentrate. Chris asked. I was just answering. And the same goes for him. I need both of you to focus. I'm about to make a bicoronal incision down to the anterior of the tragus. This is the start of a beautiful thing. Totally. They're queuing up. And I'm doubling my money just like that. Your mother's money for the ski trip, which are now not going on. How are you going to explain that to her? You really are a buffhead. No problem, because I've already scored the funds back for the trip. And I won't need to hire a munted old board like some suckers. Once I've shifted these, I can buy something primo. That's the guys I was telling you about. A hundred bucks and it's yours. There's only one colour and no, I don't give rent. Oh, do I've only got this. Oh, no, I don't do labour either. What about you? Got anything small? Why? It won't be a good look if I get sprung with too much cash on me. Well, whatever, give it in. There's only a few left, you know. Time to wrap this up. Text me if you still want it. Who are they? New friends? Oh, I forgot lunch and I thought I'd hang out with them while I waited. They're all right, though. It's Eight dollars, thanks. Has it gone up? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Well, just be grateful you don't pay the supermarket bill, too. I'll get it. It's OK. How about I buy your coffee instead? Hey, big spender. Kieran must be paying you well. Yeah, it's a sweet job. What's the hourly rate again? Oh, there are tips as well. In the hospital cafeteria. Man, I can't even buy you a coffee without you thinking it's dodgy. Of course you can. Um, I'll have a decaf latte, please. And would I be pushing my luck if I had a muffin as well? That was nicely done, as always. Thank you. Although you did give Tanya a bit of a hard time in there. Well, I merely wanted her attention and yours. I. I mean, I didn't want your attention. I wanted your attention on the patient, on the job at hand. I know I've, I'm very experienced in that sort of surgery, but um, it still requires a great deal of focus. Oh, you're right, it does. So how about a drink and a debrief at the IV? My shout. I'd rather do it by phone. I thought we were past that. I mean, I, I know you can have an issue with the face-to-face -face thing, but I kind of hoped I was the exception to the rule. Yeah, why would you be? You're no different to anyone else. Have I done something to upset you? Because you can say, if I have, you're usually pretty good about telling it like it is. Have you read much on the sort of mating? Sure. Uh, opposites attract versus birds of a feather stick together. Why? Never mind. The IV, then, is it? I, I know I'm not normally invited to the aftermatch function, but I found that most stimulating. Uh, Gabrielle needs to go. We'll debrief by phone. Well, could I persuade you to reconsider? I'm intrigued to hear how you intend to deal with the nasoethmoid nasal orbital defect in light of the steep anterior cranial fossa. Well, as, as long as you're aware this is work and not some sort of social occasion. We promise not to enjoy ourselves. It takes Mr. Phelps half an hour to get to the loo. Why can't I use the beer pen? Because it's good exercise and it's important for him to feel independent again. But he's not independent. I basically had to carry him Lucy half... just called to say she's gone down with the flu. I've already tried eight nurses to fill her ED shifts with no joy. I'll do it. It has to be better than Mr. Phelps. 
Not to mention ferrying the phone back and forth to Mrs. Rob so she can gab to her family. That's called doing your job. What am I learning doing that? That social contact and support from family or Fano is an important part of the recovery process. But have you seen how much she talks? She needs her own private line. Araha is supposed to get experience in a range of departments. The question is, would she be less work for ED or more? Oh, sing me the most annoying song you know. Makarena, who let the dogs out? I don't care anything to drown the sound of Gabrielle's voice going on and on and on in my head. By rights, I should leave you to suffer. But I could offer you some shifts in ED instead. Wait, I asked first. Yeah, but Tanya's not using training wheels. And whose fault is that? If you don't let me do anything... Yeah, sorry, Nibi. This is an emergency. How soon do they want me down there? Obviously, the size of the encephalomeningocele increases the risk of post-operative hydrocephalus and ICP. An additional EVD catheter may be required if brain swelling occurs. Well, my brain is feeling pretty swollen right now. How about another round of my shout? But, but I said it wasn't... Same again. Thank you. Oh, I might leave you to it. I plan to watch a fascinating documentary about a man who hypnotised himself prior to surgery in lieu of anaesthetic. <laughs> Do you think such a technique could be a viable alternative to conventional methods? You're not a sceptic, then? Well, I have an open mind, as my understanding of hypnosis is limited. But you're a qualified hypnotherapist, yes? Yes. Well, then obviously you consider hypnosis an effective form of treatment. Indeed I do. I recorded the documentary. I could always watch it another time. Exactly. So why don't you stay for that drink? So, you've escaped Spock for now, but you have traded her for Dr. Ego. You might be wishing you'd be back in surgical. Mm, doubt it. If I can understand half of what he says, I'll be ahead. It's like words with less than five syllables actually hurt her. <laughs> well, I can tell you exactly what he'll be saying. Enough about me. Tell me what you think about me. You must be the nurse from surgical. Well, well. It's the bin bandit. You two have met already? Yeah, we have. But I didn't catch your name. Oh, where was this anonymous meeting? Maxwell over here, and you are? Tanya Jeffries. So, uh, the recycling police haven't arrested you then? Look, I don't have time for a chat or for talking anyone through the basics, so please familiarise yourself with my treatment protocols ASAP. Then, bandit? Silly me. It's a doctor's apartment, so of course he's a doctor. What? He's just moved in next door. Or, oh, his identical twin did. The one with the manners. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Hey, hey, I know my cooking isn't legendary, but save some room, please. I'm hungry now. It smells awesome, Sarah. The water was practically cold by the time I got the last shower this morning. How long are you staying? Hunter can stay as long as he needs to, and if he's found a way to get you out of bed earlier, then he's done us all a favour. Sorry, man, I can go last if you want. No, really, you don't have to. Are you trying to pick a fight? He's no big fan of mine either. Well, with all of the lip, I'm not surprised. No, it's not that. It's because I'm seeing his little sister, like, all of them. Mm. As you get on up there in the guy's MP3 players, mate. I'm halfway through. Actually, I might get it done before tea. No, don't you take those. Here for dinner. Give them back. You? Oh, what are you doing? Well, I thought that I'd put a bit of sauce on some. Got some veggie nachos. There is widespread consensus now that hypnosis does not act as a placebo. <laughs> or a state of sleep? Certainly not. Oh. Speaking of sleep, I have an early start in the morning. <laughs> but first, uh, how does Franz Mesmer's mesmerism differ from the modern equivalent you practice? Perhaps we could discuss that another time. <laughs> Possibly. Until tomorrow, then. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Well, he was nearly putting me to sleep. You seemed quite interested, though. Well, I'm interested in any technique that could hasten post-operative recovery. Of course, but he did seem to enjoy your attention. Why wouldn't he? Well, the same reason most men don't enjoy my attention. Because they find me odd. <sighs> Only if you think a fierce intellect equals odd. To me, it's... compelling. Is it? What is the point in having a cell phone if it's switched off? Oh. We had a surgical debrief. Well, I need a girlfriend debrief. <laughs> now. See you tomorrow, then. Goodbye, Chris. Libby. You're just being...
being boring. It might taste great my way. I know, it's called instinct, honey. Some of us have it and some of us don't. Yeah. What's with the MP3 players and all the cash, as if I didn't know? So what Have you been snooping in my bag? I didn't have to, OK? If you don't want to get busted, you shouldn't have been so careless. The MP3s are for Sophie and I to swap music and stuff. The cash, it's called pay. You know, from a job? So if your mum was to ring the school, you'd still be on that trip. What's your problem with me? Hey, what is going on? He pulled out of the trip so he could keep that money you gave him. Ski passes, vouchers, map. But ring the school if you want. What made you think it pulled out? I overheard him on the phone. Oh, me and a mate were talking what we'd do with 500, but I could steal your money. It's not like I don't have a job already. True, and you have been very generous with your earnings so far. I got Sophie a present too. Looks like you got it wrong. I should have taken your word for it, eh? No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Ah, oh, kids toys, eh? I nearly went for a skate on my nephew's jacket. Which here. of you completed the immobilisation to Mrs Pig's knee? Uh, me. Why? Because you applied an air splint instead of a tubi grip. And the problem is... The problem is I want a tubi grip on it. Um, I'll be right back. They both provide stability. Just change it. When I'm done here. Rules are rules. Without them, there'll be chaos. Is that right? So I'm told. Really? Yes. I'm also told that some of them are made to be broken. You just have to know which ones. I bet Gabriella's looking better by the minute. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of enjoying it here. I might just stick around. Whose side are you on? Ours or his? In every life. Why does he keep lying and cheating? Does he hate me? For every love. If you want me to be your shameful secret, then I will happily play the part. With every trust. It's real crime, Daniel. He's done to mean business. I'm in trouble here. There's a risk of betrayal. I know what I have to do, but you have just made it perfectly clear whose side you're on. I love you, Dan. Just remember that, okay? I thought it was about making change, but apparently it's only about getting revenge. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock weeknights, TV2.